All right, YouTube. So today I got a little task on my hand. I'm gonna try to turn these wheels into chrome. I'm gonna polish these rims. I'm gonna try to polish these lug nuts. I'm gonna do two passes on it with the uh, white diamond and see if it'll work. So I got my um, exit left over in here. I got my water. I got my white diamond with my buffing pads. Now, the rim is not gonna be the problem. The lug nuts is what's gonna be the problem because they are hard to come off. And I don't have the little twist thing to take them off. I, I can get it, but I don't want to, they, they're a little damaged in some spots. Um, this one coming off. I don't want to replace it until I get my, my chrome hood caps, my chrome ones. I was going to switch it. See that, how these look good. If they, if they don't come out how I want it, I probably just switch it from these. I have to buy one of them lug nut adjuster things from the, chrome shop so I'm gonna attempt to make these rims look better and this uh, tire I ain't gonna put the tire shine on it because I'm in a dirt lot and that would be a waste of time I wait till I get back on the road but I am leaving this month January I will be coming back on the road maybe the end of January but I will be coming back out so we're gonna attempt to make this rim look from this to a little more like this, a little more mirror. Let me use the, this white diamond that's kind of old, um, but it's still to get the job done. So we're about to get it started. All right, so I'm gonna wipe my tires off a little bit, make it more presentable for this session. trying to finish up this exit here. Might do two passes with this exit because these rims ain't never been polished. I'm bringing this truck to life though, I guarantee you that. I am going to bring this truck to life. Uh, when you do this, don't wipe it off. Just let it sit. about 20, 30 seconds. That rest ain't gonna come off, the, off that chrome. It coming in, so I'm just trying to get rid of this. This exit about a year, a year and a half old. They already got this chrome clean. I didn't even wipe it. I'm gonna wipe it down with the absorber. Absorber, wipe off 
the water. I'm gonna just leave these on here. Cause I'm gonna change these caps anyway. The first month I'm out, I gotta have my my hug cover, another one that cover the whole thing. This right here be covered. Yeah. I always have those on every truck I do. All right, so that's with the accent. Now we're gonna put the white diamond on. So I got my white diamond. Put it all around first. So I'm gonna do two passes on this one. two passes on the steer, so. These rims ain't never been touched before. But they gonna be touched today. If y'all like this kind of stuff right here, polishing, cleaning the truck, tire shines and stuff, I do all that. I had a friend of mine at the last company I was working for. He said, hey, B, yo, man, you need to try to do some YouTube videos, man. You always be doing something. And I said, I used to do it, but I had a stop. He said, man, everything you do, just put it on there, man. Just show everybody. Somebody might like it. I'm a homeboy, Ronnie. So I took that into consideration. I said, all right, I'm gonna show what I do then. Somebody will like it. You know what I'm saying? White diamond something melt now, I'm telling you. I ain't trying to wipe it all clean, just trying to wipe off the polish right now, really. And I try to wipe it off clean because I got to do another pass on it. Shine up a little bit more. It's one pass out. I look pretty good right now. I'm gonna hit it again. Right, so it's the second pass. The white diamond. I'm gonna do two passes on it because I know I'm gonna use the good stuff later. Just trying to get rid of this old stuff I got, this old polish I got, before I use the good stuff. Now that uh, Intimidator, that green bottle from the other video, that stuff there light up the whole highway. It's called Intimidator. That's one of my favorite polishes there. The white diamond I use just for, you know, to get something started, just like this truck disc coming off the road from J.B. Hunt. There ain't no, no company driver that ain't gonna polish no truck, man. They don't keep the truck even clean. They don't be caring. They just wanna make that money and get up out of there and go back home. Yeah, nah, I don't operate We got some of us, I ain't gonna say everybody. Some owner operators like right down the road clean. Mostly the guys with the, uh, the Kenworths and uh, Peterbilt trucks. You'll see a freight line sometime clean, but you never really see a walk, uh, international. You never really see an international clean, though. No matter what truck I drive, 
gonna be clean, it's gonna be polished out. Every time. Hit with the buffer pad first. I'm doing two passes on it. Buffing pad here. Buffing pad make it pop a little bit, a little pop shine. Make it stand out from a regular, a regular wipe off. It's gonna come off, got to change up. But I see the rust kinda going away a little bit now. See the rust? Don't look so bad now. Now I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm not tired of looking all, you know? All polishy. Here we go. Still tire, wipe down. I'll wipe this whole top off first. Oh yeah. Oh, it's coming to the light for real now. Do this whole top. That accent. That accent and um, put that accent on that first. Oh yeah. This hand polished now. I got a drill too with the mother's power ball. Oh yeah, we got all that coming. All that is on the way. All y'all do is subscribe. Top look, look high. I do the middle one that's about to almost finish. Okay. Should the tire look alright? I'm messing up my presentation. Oh yeah. Get that side. When you're doing this, um don't use the microfiber to wipe off the heavy, the heavy part for the, the heavy stuff. You always want to use a towel, then come behind it where the microfiber lasts. And I mean, very last. That want to be the last thing you do is that microfiber. I hate wiping the inside of this thing. That's so aggravating. It's be hard to come off though. Flip it over to the other side. Do it again. Now it's getting easy though. Yeah. It's getting easy. Oh, look at the look at the, the cap though. I can see meat in the cap. The cap a little damaged though. But I'm gonna keep all this stuff on here. Cause I'm gonna um, change to my my hub caps. Uh, hub covers, you know, the, the one that go all the way around. Yeah, I'm gonna get those so ain't no need to, to be switching like that. My tire shine will make it look way much better, it'll make it like you know, pop out. But I can use tire shine for this video. I started driving. Just in case y'all want to know, I got about four different tire shines I use. So you like tire shine? You want to know how to outshine everybody on the side of you going down the highway? My well subscribe right now. I got all that. See, ain't, ain't too many YouTubers that do this no more. See, I, I, I'm a little old school. We used to do this stuff back in the day, but nobody really made video about it consistent. And somebody need to learn about it. Here's my microfiber. Microfiber lasts. Somebody need to know that.
It's free game, yo. I'm doing all this stuff for free for now. You know what I'm saying? But my dog Ronnie was like, B, you need to do YouTube. Dog. You need to show somebody. I'm like, all right. I'm going to think about it. So I started, started doing it. Look how it looks now. Tight work, tight work. Tight work. So we're gonna hit the other side right now. We're gonna hit the other side now. When I had walked back, I was like, dang. We gotta look from this angle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's tight work though. I tell you. Okay, we gotta hit this one now. Driver side. This is gonna be some work here. But it gotta be done. It gotta be done. I'm right, gonna wipe this tie off. And hit it the same way so no matter of fact let me show you this this is how it, it was looking at first this is how i was looking at first okay somebody don't remember this is how i look now oh yeah it only took five minutes it only took five minutes so y'all gonna learn from me subscribe now so we're ready now. Gotta hit Mattia first. Maybe how is Mattia looking like that on camera? This is show. You know that? Go ahead and wipe that off right quick. Gotta get my presentation right. You know that? I don't wanna be coming out here looking at any kind of weight. Yeah. Alright, now you're ready. I'm trying to hit it with the rest of this accent. Y'all see what that accent do? <laughs> Bring stuff to life. And I actually got my new one coming in. That's stronger than this. Y'all like this kind of stuff? Then let me know. Or if you try to let me know. If you like the video, that means I know somebody like it. I ain't gonna sit that long because of the video on. About 10 seconds. See how I run it down? I mean, eating up some stuff. Remember, don't don't wipe this. Don't, don't, don't rinse that off. With um, a rag or nothing, just let it sit. And let it come back out, it's like almost flashing. Don't wipe it with a rag. Let it sit for a little minute, then let it go. I'm trying to get rid of the rest of the axle, because when I do the drive tires, I have my, my, my new my new axle back there. It's some um, aluminum brightener. Yeah, and they really brighten things up. You know, tanks and aluminum stuff that we like to ride clean with. I mean, I know we can't ride clean every day. Well, y'all can't. Yeah. I be on that every day. Not every day, but you know. And I don't like the way how the truck looking. I get out there for an hour and just get down on it. You know what I'm saying? So, just trying to get rid of the rest of this. I got some real stuff coming. Stronger than this, dog. Like 10 times stronger than this. Put on the lug nuts. That's gonna be the end of this right here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and flash this with a spray bottle. Remember this axe at first. Then hit it with it, some water and spray bottle. Some, some people may want where you, where you get the water from. Well, every truck stop got water. Especially the big, the big old new ones. You keep a, a gallon container. 
Like um, for a wheelchair and wiper fluid, you know you wipe that all the time. Keep a gallon of that. And every time you need something white, I mean you need to add some water. Just use it from now. I put way too much on here this time. Let it come out like that. Come out like pasty because it's old. I'm gonna get this off. This is too much. This for this for two passes. Alright, so I'm ready now. So remember, I'm only to do two passes on here because it's, it's the first time. But remember, when you when you in the field for real, you just do this at one time. Once you get get it rolling, once once it's all chrome looking, bright looking, you don't got to do two passes no more. And you don't got to do accent. So hit it one time, and it'll be good. You know, for like a month, two weeks. You know, it get dirty every day on the road. You know, we got to go through these dirt lots. Shippers be having these unpaved lots and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna get right back dirty, but it's just maintaining it. You know what I'm saying? Just maintaining it. So when you do wipe it off, or when you do go through that truck wash, you be looking right coming out. You know what I'm saying? And they'll be able to know, like, yo, old cub right here, just gotta take care of his truck, you know what I'm saying? So if DOT looking at the truck, you're gonna be like, okay, this guy, he got nice wheels, he got, you know, shiny tires. I know he be outside, so I just probably let him pass, cause I know he check his stuff. If you checking them wheels, he most likely gonna check them, them tire pressures, he gonna check them brakes, he gonna check all that stuff. That's how I look at it. Then I'm gonna this first, this first wipe right here. Try to reveal it from the top. Wipe it all the way off. Get the tires looking all right. Wipe that down now. Probably getting up there a little bit. See my lug nuts looking, looking better now. It's good to see though. They weren't looking so good. Matter of fact, they were looking really bad. I have that part though now. I do have the mother's, the mother's little power ball thing, the drill. But you know, for the first time, you can just bring it to life automatically like that. You know, it ain't gonna come how you want it the first time. But when it get to like that, that third and fourth, oh yeah, it's gonna be looking right. I guarantee you that. When it get to about that fourth time. These, these, these they never been polished before. Never. Usually when you're picking up a company truck, they're, they're gonna be badly out of shape, pitted, pitted wheels and everything like that though. So, I was expecting this already. But I was gonna do this when I get back on the road, but I was like, man, I see us getting all cold out there. Might well do it while I'm here in Miami. Miami, Florida. from now. This 
side it needed a little, a little work. Try to reveal this side. Look okay though, but it's gonna need some work though. For now, it look all right. For the first pass, it look all right. But the other side look better. I do look better. up when you're asleep, man. Man, why your truck so loud, man? We in the 2024, man. But, uh, I got to do one more thing. I'm gonna polish that grill, too. See how it look on the, on the grill. It came out all right. At first it wasn't looking all that, but now yeah, it, it, look, it look good. Bring y'all in a little bit closer there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget the microfiber. You gotta have a microfiber. No matter what. You gotta have a microfiber. Microfiber like the finisher, you know. Like it, the microfiber make it like pop looking, you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a, a walk around the front of it. I gotta polish the grill, and that's all we're gonna do today. I'll show you the other side. I'm gonna show you how these drives, by the fact. So if y'all wanna see these drives, you know, just give me about three likes. Give me about three likes. See we see we can see these drive types. The drives will look better than the than the steer. Just give me about three likes. I'm a, I'm a little small channel, you know what I'm saying? Give me about three likes. I hit them drives, you know. I hit them. Alright, so. I'm gonna finish it off with this, polishing this grill. See how, how it'll look on the grill. I don't want too much touching that on um, the part. So I don't have too much on the on the first pass. I like, I, I gotta put it on something chrome that can wipe off easy. I like, you know, let me just put it on the grill then. <laughs> Cause I ain't wanna do the other wheels. So, uh, make the grill shine. So you wanna blind some people coming down the road. They look in that mirror. This thing will be shining bright. Tell you, it's gonna be shining. Polish that grill. That sun hit it. Oh yeah. They were looking in the rear view mirror, all they're gonna see is a bright, a bright chrome look. Hit all that down. bottom too. Look 
We're gonna see how I look right now. Then take a step back. Wanna wipe it off. This only need one pack because it's already look stainless steel looking. And then it's already stainless steel looking already. But uh, aluminum wheels that get drugged through that road pit and all that there. Those are the ones that need a little more attention. So I hit this with the, the buffing pad too. Somebody need to see this dog. Cause there ain't too many people doing it. I don't know nobody on YouTube that do this. You know, somebody need to see this. Cause I know people want to, you know, how, how these trucks be coming down the road looking clean. A lot of the older guys, the old school guys, they'll take it to a shop, a chrome shop. And they have somebody there that'll professionally do it. Like with, with a grinder. Yeah, grinder, grinder wheels with a machine. But guess how much it costs them? It costs a hundred dollars per wheel. So I just be looking like, man, why pay that? It's gonna get right back dirty <laughs> as soon as you start driving. Or oh, it's gonna rain the next day. Like, yeah, but uh, at least it's done. But it's gonna get right back dirty, so why not do it yourself? <laughs> you know? So that's what I be thinking about, like, man, they, they could do it. They could, um, you know, do it with a machine and with a grinder. It's still gonna get dirty. So why, how you feel about paying all that money? And it's gonna get right back dirty still. You can do this stuff yourself. So that's how I be looking at stuff. I why take it to that shop. Pay all that money. It look good when they doing it. Oh, it look, it look oh, like you're going to a show. Well, as soon as it rain, boy, it be over with, boy. <laughs> it be over, the show be over. Well, y'all see that, boy? Oh. That thing coming to the light, boy. I, I want to do just one side for us to see. It's like a little bonus clip here. I could have saved this for another video. But I didn't do it like that. Um, I just want to see one side first. See how one side look from the other side. I'm gonna hit it with the, uh, the microfiber. And then take a step back. Y'all see what I was saying, boy? When that sun hit it, yeah. Like a transformer coming down. You better move, cause I ain't playing. Oh yeah. Look at white diamond, bro. Look at white diamond. The left side done, the right side not done yet. See how that look though? The left side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the left side in the game. Left side of the game. Did I wipe off this side with them? Yeah, I did. Hey, there's a bonus clip here. There's a bonus clip. So when I do do the drive tires, I know somebody want to see another, um, maybe another, uh, another polish instead of white diamond. But I gotta get, I'm trying to get rid of it. And just to get these, get this stuff kind of in shape a little bit before I do use the good stuff, I just want to get rid of the white diamond. But white diamond is working kind of fine right now, working pretty good right now. You know what I'm saying? So, i flip that over there. I know you may want to see the other ones. I got a, uh, I'm gonna show y'all the other ones I got. I know that the main ones, I got Intimidator, that's that green bottle. Man, that stuff caused so much attention, bro. Intimidator. That's that green, that green bottle, dog. I use that, boy, on a shine, on a, on a, on a sunny day. 
Man, them trucks driving try to talk to me on the radio. I don't have no CB radio. Cars be waving at me. I don't be waving back. You know? I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. I'm gonna show y'all the Intimidator. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about, right? I'm gonna show y'all right now. Yeah, so this, this, this is the one I was talking about. This thing right here. The Intimidator. Man, I've been using this for at least five years, man. This is my favorite one. When I want to check people all day, anybody that ride by, anybody ride past me, boy, they gonna be, they gonna remember me when I put on this right here. I would use it to show, but I ain't gonna do that yet. <laughs> this is my other one, Secrets. Is it like an extreme cut shine? Just, just get a lot of, um, what's stuff called? The um, pitted, pitted wheels. This, get a lot of it out. And this, I usually, I usually use Wicked metal polish when I use the um, the accent. This good on oxidation, man. This is some good stuff on oxidation. And I, I usually only use this when I use the accent. But y'all to see, those are my little favorites right there. But that Intimidator right there, well, if I'm gonna check people all day, that Intimidator, man, shut a lot of people up. Oh, look at the, hold on. Look at, let me get my, microphone boy look at the national man i ain't know it gonna come out like this see why you're using that white down yeah that's why i be using that white down and i ain't do the bottom <laughs> i forgot the bottom i gotta do the bottom yeah 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 i see it oh i see it now right here come down a little bit right here yeah, 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 yeah. Got a little different angles. See about this side. Yeah. Mr. Spot. See, I, see I, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show this liner. This is clean. This is actually clean. But this is polish. This is polish. This is a clean grill. This freight line like grill is clean. This is Peter Bear grill clean too. But you see how this polish look? This is polish, polish clean here. Yeah, don't play with me. Forgot to do this part here. At the bottom. That's all good. You don't take that long to wipe that one off. That'll do it for the day. So, um, yeah, all I need is about three likes. Let's see somebody looking a little bit. Somebody like this kind of stuff and want to see more, just give me three likes. And I hit the drive, the drive tires. Um, I am starting on the road this month. I will be back out on the road. Starting this month, my vacation is coming to an end. So it's time to get back on the road. But um, yeah, if y'all like this kind of videos, you know, Y'all got something y'all use, or something that y'all be using for you that y'all really like? Say something. I'll talk back. Whoa. That, that's different though. You see that? You see that though? Yeah. That look different from before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Fuse. Park down here. But anyway, that's how my steers look. All right, that's how my drives look. I want to see the drives. Drives gonna look better than the steers. Just say something. Leave three likes. I come back out here and do that. All right, yo. Yeah.